Hey guys, this is our last day in Paris. Today we're going to take an exclusive tour of the Champs-Élysées before we depart to Munich, Germany. Right behind me is the Matterhorn. <laughs> it's huge. It's so I am at the Eiffel Tower. This is the real deal in France, Paris. So we are in Republic Square. We stayed at the Crown Plaza Republic, which is behind me. Uh, this is also a very popular area for skateboarders. There's skateboarders all over the place. I don't know if you can hear them. But what significance is this big statue right here. Uh, this is a symbol of France's independence from the monarchy, and mostly the King Louis, the Bourbons. Uh, 1789 was the beginning of the French Revolution, the storming of the Bastille, uh, which also is significant with them with their independence, which is Bastille Day. So the picture there, if you see the little picture right there, that's basically where they started the tennis court oath, which was known as the Declaration of the Rights of Man and Citizen. And this is where they declare their independence from the monarchy to start their own government based on the American Declaration of Independence. So we're on our way to the Champs-Élysées. We actually got off one exit, which is Franklin Roosevelt, and um, I give you the significance about that exit is the reason they named after Franklin Roosevelt, who was the president of the United States, was World War II, America basically helped uh, France liberate themselves from the Nazis during World War II. And as a result, they named an exit after the president of the United States, which is Franklin D. Roosevelt. So it's just a way to, rec to recognize the United States. So we're exiting this station and we see a statue of the leader of France, Charles de Gaulle. Let me tell you something about him. So Charles de Gaulle was the leader of France during World War II. Uh, when the Nazis invaded Paris, uh, he basically fled as a result of possible execution and basically started a government in exile in England, uh, but also helped out with the liberation of France from the Nazis along with American intervention during the final battle, which was in Normandy, D-Day invasion. But uh, he's considered a very important person in the history of uh, France was well, leader friends Charles de Gaulle. The Champs-Élysées is famous for shopping. It connects the Arc de Triomphe and is considered one of the most world's most famous commercial streets.
Arc de Triomphe is one of the most famous monuments in France. It honors those who fought and died for France during the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. Names of the French victors and generals are inscribed on the inner and outer surfaces, and under the large vault in the center lies the tomb of the unknown soldier from the First World War. Let's take a look closely. So ticket prices to go up to the Ark is about $14 a person. However, you do need a reservation and there are long lines. Okay, I'm at the Arch de Triomphe, which is the end of Champs-Élysées in Paris, France. What you see behind me is a memorial, the flame of remembrance for soldiers that died during the First World War. Uh, this was against Germany when they were fighting what's called trench warfare. Most of it was fought in the Battle of Marne, and a lot of people died. It was a horrific battle. Uh, the French still um, uh, basically uh, persevered. We are heading to the Gare de l'Est train station on our way to Munich, Germany. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go there. So we finally arrived in Munich, Germany. It's 10 o'clock at night, but we're so excited we finally arrived. about this town during the night and the hotel is not that far from the train station uh, we just arrived at Le Meridian Hotel and this is in Munich Germany and uh, we are, the hotel's beautiful. 
uh, very accommodating people. They left me a little note, a little hello, greeting note, which is really nice. Unfortunately, they made a mistake. This was for Mrs. Rohr. I'm not Mrs. Rohr, but still, <laughs> it's kind of nice to have be recognized. And if you look at the room, it is a beautiful room. It's very big. We have two nice big beds. It's time to rest. Tomorrow we're going to go to Marienplatz, Virtual Market, and the famous Glockenspiel. Thank you for watching, and wherever we go, for sure it will be with you. Hope to see you tomorrow on our next video. Bye for now.